And today I had big plans. And as always, those plans were scuppered. Now, I'm only giving you this little introduction to let you know I haven't a clue where I am. I'm somewhere outside of Windermere and somewhere between Ullswater and possibly Kentmere. Uh, reason being, when I got here, there's thousands of people. Thousands of people. I'm quite shocked actually. It's like everyone has descended on the Lake District. I didn't get here early enough because I was doing things with family and sorting one thing and another and didn't get up for sunrise. After the pubcast last night, I don't think I would have been, uh, I don't think it would have been wise. And if you wonder what the pubcast is, it's a weekly uh, podcast stroke video that we post on YouTube with the six of us, six guys, six vloggers, six photographers, and we just basically talk shit for an hour and a half. <laughs> so if that sounds like your kind of thing, just dead over on YouTube and put in the Photography Pubcast and you'll find us and uh, just have a, have a laugh, it's just a laugh, good fun. But last night was recording night, so couldn't get up too early because I seem to have had quite a few to drink. So this is good medicine for the soul today, like I say, haven't got a clue where we are, but let's get going. It's good to be back in the Lake District. The smells, the atmosphere, the silence. A couple of people, but I'm glad I turned off. It was just car after car after car, hundreds of people. Now, this looks interesting. I was looking at the bigger fell, but let's go and have a look at this. I'm lost. I'm not actually. I'm at a place called <laughs> Fuseth Wait Yeet. <laughs> Fuseth Wait Yeet. Or is it Fuseth Wait Yeet? I think it's Fuseth Wait Yeet. That's it there, over my shoulder. I'm halfway. It's only 250 metres. Sorry, folks but I've got to get back into the swing of things. Just over my shoulder to my right, camera left, is Windermere. And over yonder, in the distance, is Furfield. And they're uh, dropping you down through Kirkstone Pass to Ulverston, Brothers Water. So fuseth way yeet. This, this is a honeypot, this is the honeypot place to be, seriously. Any road, we'll find it when I put shots up, but so far I've not took one. I don't really care, it's, it's beautiful, we've got a lot of cloud, a lot of movement, breaking sunshine, so lots of light popping up here and there and everywhere, as you can see. So it's actually quite a good day for photography. There's hardly a breath of her. Very, very chilled. Come on, let's get to the top of Fuseth Wait Yeet. 30 seconds. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Eh? Oh my God, I'm so out of shape. Fuseth. I need myself a little bit of drinking water. <laughs>
just looking across there and I can see the sea. I think that's coming in at uh, Morecambe Bay or Lancaster. And then you can just see it again appearing between the gap at the end of Windermere. Here you can really get a sense of the scale and the size of Lake Windermere. Yeah, it's just huge, huge. Right from here, all the way down. It fuseth weight yeet. <laughs> just rolls off the tongue. I guess that's why I'm on my own. Can you believe it? Right now, there must be 4,000, 10,000? A lot of people on the A591 heading straight through Lake District for your Grassmere's, your Ambleside, your Windermere. Off they go. And they joined the queue and I thought, do you know what? I can't be doing with this. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Look at this light. <laughs> ah, look at that. The rolling hills. It, again, I've said this before. We could be in northern Italy. We're not. We're in a better place. We're in the Lake District. And it never, ever fails to give and just put on a show in any conditions. But the light at the moment is incredible. And uh, I'm playing around with this little gadget. So you, you might enjoy some of that. I won't tell you, little, little, little secret. Although some of you might know what it is. But, oh, the lights come back up. I'm missing the light. Oh, it's gone. It'll be back. Ah, oh, it's just light above as well. On the wall leading in, the dry stone walls are glowing. Ah, oh, wow. What a fell this is turning out to be. And no one, not a soul. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. And I've also spotted quite a few lone trees dotted around with just, just the scene. It, it, there's no words. No words. Ah, look at this here as well. There's like a, a, um, a knot sticking out, which is closer to Windermere. You might get more, more of the valley in down towards uh, Ambleside. So much to take on and take in here. I'm going to follow this wall back down to the reservoir and we'll have a look there. You never know. Might be some reflective shots. Let's have a look. I can't quite, I can't quite make it out from here. Uh, it was the drone where I spotted the second reservoir. There's one over there as well. So the, the, <laughs> there's quite a lot here in this tiny little valley that no one seems to come. I, I don't come out here for tech crap. I come out here for tech the best shot I possibly can and fill me boots and just make it look as stunning as it looks to the eye and then take that digital negative and and just try and have a human response to the world and the environment we're in right now in the Lake District ah oh, there's so much to take here look at these trees there's a collection uh, to actually walk in and amongst them would be quite nice I think there'd be some good shots there uh, there's the lone tree I was just saying I'd spotted Again, there's three separated far enough away from each other to say that they're lonesome. And uh, I think getting up there to shoot that would be stunning. But not today. Can't get it all in today. So I hope you've liked it. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, as always, leave me a comment down below. And I love hearing what you've got to say and having a chat with everyone. You know, getting to know quite a few of you now. And, it's good fun. So, if you like what you've seen, hit subscribe. And if you want to see more, hit that notification bell. She'll tell you when I put a new video out. So, without further ado, <laughs> adieu. Now, I have to say it right. And there's only one thing left to say, and that's 
Sede.